Hmm, get a tragic here, and welcome back to Wrath of the Rune Lords. This is the deck editing sequence for uh, the Wardstone Patrol. Now, I've done quite a lot of extensive work on the deck edits, so I'm actually going to import all these cards into the work in progress mod which is getting pretty close to being finished now. I, basically all I need to do is add in the data for the other expansions and we're ready to go. Uh, but I wanted to use the new deck editor for this video. So I've in, I'm, what I've got to do is I've got to copy all the cards, all the current decks and put them in a bag. Then I've got to copy, then I've got to copy the, cut, the current card pool as well and import that into the new mods. So that's what I'm doing now. It's all sped up. You might not be able to see what's going on. But boom, it's done. And now we're in the new mod. Okay, so let's uh, load up the deck editor and we'll fetch our players. And you'll notice that it's very different looking. For starters, the card decks are now going straight to their uh, player areas, to the individual people. Uh, before it used to stick the entire, all the cards in a big pile here. And this is because as you get into the game more, uh, the decks won't, will only be modifying a little. So there's that. Also, I put all these little, I had this weird problem with the cards kind of falling underneath the, the layer here. So I put this little object with the Pathfinder logo on it just to, you know, make it a little, like put it like a barrier to stop that. Also, I've got these cool readouts now. So if I flip this thing over to be finalized, you can see it actually tells you what cards are in the deck. And if you hover over the button, it tells you what card. So if you're zoomed really far out, you can hover over the button and you'll get like the pop-up, which will show you what's in that deck. Also, when you're editing the deck now, uh, you basically uh, just click the, the button here. I've got to make those buttons a little bigger, I think. And it displays the deck down here and you can edit it very, very easily now. And you can just right click to bring it back. Like I said, I've got to, I think I need to make this button a little bit larger. It's a little bit hard to click still. Okay, so that's the basic basics of the new deck editor. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to go through and just have a quick look at each of these decks. So we're looking at Adwin's deck now. And is there anything she doesn't want? Well, she doesn't want the javelin. Oh, well, actually, she does want the javelin. So she gets three weapons. So she's got one too many weapons here. She definitely wants this weapon. I think we're just going to actually get rid of the javelin. I love the javelin, but uh, I think I, I don't need it. Okay, so this cohort isn't actually part of her deck. This comes when there's a cohort list on the adventure. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, she gets one armor, two items. So she's got two sages journal. They're kind of good items. Might get rid of one of them. She gets three allies. So we've got to get rid of some of these allies. We definitely want to keep the caravan guard because that adds to her range combat check. I really want to keep the frog. What's the apprentice do? Arcane divine shape. Get rid of that one. And I want to keep the recruit, so we'll get rid of those two. So that is three allies. She has four blessings. Let's get rid of one of them. And that is her uh, her deck is done. So she now has four blessings, three allies. Oh, she's only got one item. She needs two items. So she needs another item, basically. Hey, let's have a quick look at this guy's deck. He has the cohort. I'm not really happy with this card, but I can't throw it away because it's just so crazy. So he gets four weapons. We're definitely keeping the lance. This has the piercing trait, slashing. So we get rid of the sickle. Boom. He gets armor. We'll keep all those three armors. I like his items. Now we want to get rid of the carbuncle. That gives him three allies. We'll keep those three allies. 
and he gets three blessings. So I'm going to get rid of that and put that in here and put this one into back here. I've got to fix this button. I've got to fix these buttons so they're easier to click. Okay, so he definitely doesn't need that thing. Get rid of that. Yoink. Okay, so he gets five weapons. So let's have a quick look at what he gets here. Now we're giving him, he's got, uh, what is it? Two armor and he's only got light armor. So we'll get rid of that helm for starters. We'll keep him, keep him the cure. We're going to keep the raven. We'll keep the sage's journal. He gets no allies. So look at all those allies that he ended up with for some reason. Oh, that's because that was he won the game. So we'll get rid of all those allies. And he has four blessings. So we'll just uh, keep the four blessings he's got. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take all the blessings out that aren't that are special and put them into the general pool and we'll organize the blessings at the end. Okay, he doesn't need the Borealis because that is a that is a basic. One, two, three, four, five, and there's his five weapons. So we'll just put them back. Ooh. It's uh Yep, that's right. We're just checking that I haven't got any special blessings in these cards. Yeah, get rid of the special blessing. Okay, this girl, Yablamo. She gets, get rid of her special blessings. She gets two allies, four blessings, and five spells. Two armor. So she hasn't got any armor for some reason. I think I might have forgotten to give her armor last game. Or did she banish them? She must have had to banish them somewhere. Oh no, she has no armor. I'm looking at the wrong thing. So she had six spells. One, two, three, four, five, six. She gets three items. Now see this item here. I have not really been using this much at all. Basically, every time you shuffle the location, you get to peek at the card. The problem is, I'm not really shuffling the, the, the locations much because you basically have to fail your test, and I'm pretty good with uh, my die odds, so I don't usually fail a test. And if I do, it's rare. It's a rare event. To, not only do I have to fail the test, I have to fail the test with this card in hand, and I have to fail a test in a way that doesn't discard the card. So it's actually pretty rare to use. So I'm actually going to move this out. And also, this thing here, like her her special item, it feels really bad. I've never been able to use this. Maybe it gets better later on. So you recharge this card to recharge a boon that has the magic trait. Okay. So these are all got the magic trait. So she can get her spells back. That's what it's for. But basically, I've never had to use it because every time she casts a spell, she just gets it back. So I'm going to try and keep an eye out for uh, items that have the magic trait. But because this is, I mean, this is a basic item, I just don't think, I'm not really happy with this, so I'm going to leave it out. And let's do that. Okay, let's put out... Uh, Whoa, so she has a billion things in here. She's got all these. Uh, all these uh, cards. That's some kind of weird problem with, with Tabletop Simulator. See how sometimes it sort of flies into the air? I do not know how to... See that? I don't know how to fix that. It's very annoying. Okay, whatever. The point is, what I could do is put this whole deck builder above the table in the center of the screen. That's what I might do, actually. Okay, let's get rid of them. Okay, so she... Okay, that's the... That's the cohorts of, for, the, for the quest, so we'll get rid of that. Okay, so she has two weapons. She has two armors. She has three spells. She has one item, one ally. 
six blessings. Okay, so she's done. And she gets four weapons. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got five here. We are going to... What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give... I'm going to give that to someone else. Let's see if we can get rid of this one too. She's already got two piercing. So that's bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. Because the thing is, Kara is just terrible. If she ever meets a monster, she's basically dead. It's so annoying. I was thinking maybe I should give her this. That will give her a shield, as well as give her the ability to actually roll a d6 and a d10, which is... Oh, but she's not proficient with weapons. I don't think she's proficient with weapons. Yeah, she's not proficient with weapons, so that's no good. Okay, bam. Four blessings, two allies, one item, one item. Okay, so that's her done. So now what I've done is I've basically given their basic cards what I think they'd like. And now let's have a look at what we've actually got left to deal with. Don't need this thing. Well, we have a lot of cool stuff here. We've got lots of blessings. I really liked her having those Baphomet cards. Now she has three blessings, so she needs another three blessings. So we'll just uh, give that to her. She now has six blessings. She's got 15 cards. That's her done, basically. This is any non-combat constitution check. Uh, this guy here, this is a constitution check, isn't it? Oh, it's a strength survival check. Okay. So what have you got here? We've got a standard blessing and we've got the Abaraxis blessing. This is arcane divine checks. Now she gets three blessings. So let's put these in here and we'll give her three of them. We'll give her two of them. Who else has a divine check? This girl. So we'll give her two of them and non-combat wisdom. That's a combat check. What's this one? Constitution check. And defeat a barrier. Blessing of Abolda. Awesome. Okay, so. She gets four blessings. So I'm going to give her standard blessing. And I'm also going to give her A, hmm. I'll give it two standard blessings. See that? Oh, that's so annoying. Yep, I've got to fix that. That's the next thing to fix. See, that's an error. It's got something to do with like the edge of the of the zone. You know what I mean? Like if I if I increase the play area. Does that fix that? Okay, so that's that. So he gets three blessings as well. I'm going to give him the key. I'm going to give him the strength check. So his strength is d6, d12, d8. Yeah, so I'm going to give him a strength check. And I'll give him a standard blessing. Two standard blessings. Cool. 
Crow gets three blessings. So I'm going to give him the Sucker. Gives him an extra combat dice, just so he can... I'm a firm believer in whatever they're good at, make them better at it. So it just makes him a better combat guy. Nora. So she's supposed to have four blessings. So this gives her an arcane improvement. Actually, I'm going to give that to, yeah, so I'll give him, I'll give her Hmm, it's, it's actually complicated what we're going to do with all these blessings. Constitution check. D4. Uh, what's this? A wisdom check. So we'll give her the wisdom check. Her wisdom is a D6. I'm going to give this guy this thing here, which gives him a divine check, because he actually ha he does not have divine, so that gives him four, three d fours with which to get back his cure, which needs an eight. It's not really worth it, is it? Okay. And so we've still got two more blessings to go. I'll give them to her. That seems to have fixed that problem by increasing the size of the thing. Okay, so let's have another quick look and see if there's anything else we need. We have a spare helm. We have all these Ooh, Grizzled Mercenary. Bury this card to add 1d8 to any combat check at a character location. Discard this card to explore your location. If you encounter a boon, banish it. Okay, so that's actually awesome. Who's, uh, two allies, no allies, three allies, three allies. What, what is her ally here? Uh, I like all those allies. I really like the recruit. Uh, what's he got? He's got the frog. What's she got? She's more likely to have boons. What's she got? Yeah, so I'm going to take out the retainer and put in the mercenary into Sheila. She's only got 13 cards still, what's she missing? She needs one more blessing. She has two allies, three items, she needs an item as well. Let's give her the Sage's Journal. 15, 13, so what's he missing? He needs one more blessing. Four, out, four blessings, two items, two spells. He gets another spell. We have, we're completely out of spells. Did we have to dis did we have to banish a spell? Oh, that's right, because when he used he used a spell that ended up getting banished. Uh, so what do we have? He's got a cure. So I'm going to grab the basic cards. And I'm going to give him brilliance. So he's got 15, 17 cards. Why has he got so many? He should have 16. So he's got four blessings. He needs three. So 
So give them a name. Boom. 16, 15, so she's missing one. Four blessings, three allies. She needs another item. Well, I guess she has to use this thing. Well, I, th I guess I'm just going to have to... Uh, I need to get a new item into, the, into our deck. So I gave the ring back to Onora. Okay, who else is here? So we've got the Recruit, which I really like. We've got the Apprentice, which I really like. He adds to the Arcane Divine check. Uh, she has two allies. She has this guy and... Oh, I, I really like that dog. We're definitely keeping that. He gets no allies. She does get allies. So I'm going to... Take out the frog and give her the apprentice. Yeah, I still think the frog is so good. Retainer. Recharge this card to add 1d4 to your equip trek to require a weapon, an item, or an ally. Uh, what is... Oh, what happened then? I accidentally dealt the card to... <laughs> he, she's got the Demon Hunter. I'm going to give her the Retainer. I'm going to give the Demon Hunter to this bird here. To replace the Apprentice. Oh, I've got these really good allies. I don't know what to do with them. Intelligence or charisma check. Oh, let's get rid of one of these horses. He has no allies. What's her allies? She's got the Medieval Crusader. She's also got the Recruit. I really like those recruits. I guess I can give her the Apprentice. We'll get rid of the Recruit. We'll start adjusting for non-basics. Oh, I don't know. I think we're done. I really like these recruits though, but I feel like we're getting, we're pretty close to done now. So we've got 17. 16, 15, 15, 15, 15. So she's got one too many of something. Four blessings, three allies. She's got, she's got four allies, she needs three. Oops. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get rid of the recruit. I love those recruits, but the frogs are just better. It's better to have the frogs because they allow us to, uh, you know, if we encounter obstacles and traps and stuff. Well, is this a... Wait up, let me just quickly check. Maybe I'm just doing it all wrong. Where, uh, where is this thing here? Uh, we need... Okay, so that's an obstacle. So this says skirmish. And this says skirmish. So the demonic horde and the Arboreal Blight are both skirmishes, so the frogs aren't actually doing anything for us. So the whole idea of the frog is basically a lie. The frog is a lie, baby. So let's, uh, let's get rid of those frogs completely. I'm gonna get rid of all the frogs and put in my recruits. 
back in. Okay, so what I need to do is make these buttons a bit bigger so they're easier to click. Uh, he gets no allies. She's got allies. Okay. She has ally. And she has allies. Okay. So we're ready now. So that is 16, 16, 15, 15, 15, 15. Let's do one final check. Okay, here's another little thing I need to fix. This list here is not in the same order as the cards. So it's co-ops should be at the bottom and it should go weapon, spell, armor instead of weapons, armor, spells. Okay, so that needs to be fixed. Whatever, the point is we're pretty much done. So I'm just gonna create the decks for these guys and fetch my heroes. Hmm, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking that maybe it might be easier. I mean, I like all that extra stuff with the, that I did to the deck editor, but I do like the way I was originally doing the, uh, the deck building. Okay, your blemo, and okay, your blemo. Okay, and that is our new, our new set of decks. In, uh, in B4. Oh, is that B4? Is that what we just did? B3. Start B4. We'll just call it B4. Bam. Okay, so we built our deck and we are ready to rumble. Okay, well, that's that. I will see you guys next time.